As the world shifts towards a greener future, scores of nations are trying to invest in solar, wind and hydropower to produce energy. Now in the European Union as well, that seems to hold true. Last year, for the first time, wind and solar power produced more of the EU's electricity than fossil fuel gas. The renewable energy was responsible for a record fifth of the bloc's electricity. This is according to a new report from clean energy think tank Ember. Gas power accounted for some 20% of the bloc's electricity, while coal accounted for 16% of the share. This represents a mere 1.5% increase on last year, as solar helped to stave off a resurgence of the climate-wrecking fuel. Moreover, the report comes as through the turbulence of 2022, from cutting ties with Russia to climate-driven drought and soaring gas prices. Europe's clean energy transition soldiered on. But now the question which arises is, how did the bloc manage to ensure such a feat when it was facing such problems? Where they were likely uh, with an outcome for the bloc was to use fossil fuels like coal to keep up with the demand. Now let me take you back to what unfolded in the bloc last year. As spring arrived, Europe scrambled to cut ties with its biggest supplier of fossil gas. This was followed by a one in 500 year drought in summer, drying out the continent's hydro reservoirs. As a result, hydropower dropped to its lowest share of electricity since at least 2000. The nuclear share also dipped significantly, and this was largely due to outages at French power plants in need of maintenance. Climate also played a role as some nuclear reactors had to cut production to prevent overheating the rivers that are used to cool them down. Now, at the same time, electricity demand spiked as people turned up their air conditioning during the heat waves. There were fears that coal would be roped in to plug the gap. But despite importing 20, 20, 22 million tons of extra coal throughout the year, the EU only ended up using a third of it. Instead, a record growth in solar and wind were the runaway successes. So will the new year be the same for the bloc? Well, the think tank thinks so. It's early days, but 2023 is on track to be even cleaner than last year. Almost a month in, the EU is already down 37% on gas generation. Ember estimates that fossil generation could plummet by 20% this year, double the previous record from 2020. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.